I knew unequivocally that my destined career would have been in IT. Um, I think at around age 12 or 13, I fell in love with a computer. It literally was like <laughs> love at first sight. Um, I was very, very fascinated um, with the capabilities then that it could have done, and it really triggered my interest. And as I got older, um, that, that passion became more and more and more um, intense. And um, it really was when I pursued IT at the CSEC level, my information technology teacher, Tamara Williams, she had recommended me to pursue an associate degree in COSTAT, which I did. And I think <laughs> that's when my future was shaped. Um, coming to COSTAT was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. It exposed me to a whole, well, a whole new realm of IT that I didn't even know existed because um, I was inundated with naivety at the time when I was young. I thought computers or the computing world just revolve around building a computer. And coming to Costat, um, it made me realize how ignorant I was to the realm of computers. And um, I first did um, two courses that I fell in love with, um, and I have to to attribute my, my success to these two people. Um, the first one is Nicole Alexander Bennett. She was my first programming teacher, and she really, really pushed me. And then I encountered the great Martha Wilson, the infamous and great Martha Wilson, um, who taught me internet technologies. And she basically triggered my passion and my, and my um, love for web development and web programming. Why IT? I love IT because IT forces you to think. Computer science is about being a problem solver, and I love solving problems. If you're a person that gets fed up of, of, your, of your career or get fed up of things very, very easily or things become very mundane to you, then IT is the way to go. Trust me, being IT, you're going to be faced with a plethora of different um, problems at any point in time, and you as the IT personnel, particularly if you're a programmer, you would always have to provide the solution to it. So it forces you to think, and it forces you to always concentrate keep learning, two of which of the things that I love. The Weekend Hack basically is a coding school whose mantra is basically to empower and immerse people of all walks of life, specifically people who belong to impoverished communities and the youth to the realm of science, technology, engineering and mathematics or what we call STEM. Now, the Weekend Hack specifically emphasizes on technology, um, i.e. specifically web development. So I have a wealth of experience both in education and in the industry as it pertains to programming. I intend to merge and marry my experience together to empower the youth to create um, classrooms and activities that are going to force them to think and I basically see the Weekend Hack growing to become a name in Trinidad and Tobago and in the Caribbean that is going to be forcing um, and, and creating a culture of, of, of young people who are smart, who are innovators, who are going to be pioneers, who are going to be solution um, thinkers. Um, I believe that education is very, very powerful. It changed my life, and as an educator, I wear it as a badge of armor. And I, and I intend to do what Miss Marva and Miss Bennett and all the fantastic um, teachers at Costat and Southeast Port of Spain did, did for me. What do I love about teaching? Everything. <laughs> Um, as I said, you know, I, I didn't come from a, a family of, of um, affluence or influence. And all I had was my passion of IT and support, the support of my aunt, Marcia Squires Warner, and my grandmother pushing me and encouraging me. And I have seen the power of, of, of having support and education and how that could transform transform your life. I believe in storytelling. I think storytelling matters because I believe a lot of young people, they like to see people who look like them, who talk like them, who love like them, who, who belong to communities that they belong to and come from, you know, doing great things, you know. So I, I, be, I am going to tell my story and live my story and use that as a way to motivate students and motivate young people. I'm going to give them the support that I got and I'm going to shower them with a lot of updated information. I'm going to challenge them. I'm going to create a lot of, um, a lot of challenging and, and, and um, new projects, real world projects that will keep them on their toes and help them to learn. So 
I love education because education is powerful. I love teaching because as an educator, you literally get to transform community lives one student at a time.